Welcome back to Break Hard Orchard. It's been a heck of a couple of weeks, but we are pushing forward nonetheless. We have three timbers left to go into the master bedroom, and at that point, we are done with the post and beam, and we move on to putting the roof on. We're really excited about that. I got bugs flying all around my head, so I'm going to be swatting at them the rest of the time we're here. We worked our day jobs, put in a full day. So we're out here right now, and the only thing I'm trying to do is mark and cut a couple of these beams. If I can mark and cut the top of all three beams, that'll be fantastic. I explained the other day kind of the problem that I ran into, which was that wall is not perfectly level that we're putting this on, and I ended up with different measurements for everything. The first wall was level, and the template worked perfectly on all of them. On this one, I had to work for a while to figure out what I was going to do with it. And what I came up with was kind of a sliding template thing. And I'm sure anybody who does this for a living is going to be gritting their teeth and having something to say about it. This is how I solved the problem. For this one, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to set it up. There is some pretty heavy checking on this piece of wood. I'm just checking the end to make sure it's nice and stable and it is. So we're going to go all the way to about here to start. The angle on the template is correct. That's still the same. The difference was the height. What I came up with was by working it from the end, putting it on a line. For this next one, it needs to be 12 and a half. I just slide this template down until it meets the 12 and a half mark here. And that is where I set my bird's mouth. That is where we set the top for this one. This is going to be post number three. By the way, this is a borrowed saw. <clears throat> I was very fortunate to be able to buy the saw and not have to spend the seven or eight hundred dollars that it cost for it. <clears throat> I'm also just about used up this blade that it was on it when I borrowed it. So I'm going to purchase a new blade, send it back with a new one. I've only got three timbers left. I see no point in buying the blade before I'm done with it because I can make the cuts with this. Fired up. Now I've had some people suggest some other ways to do this. A couple of them sounded pretty good. Battery operated chainsaw, a small gas powered chainsaw. I think those would work really well. But as I said, I got three more of these to cut. And so far I've been pretty happy with the way it turned out. I have no battery. I hope we brought some batteries. <laughs> One of the things we have to do often is take the batteries home and charge them up after a day or two of work. We are good. Move on to the next one.
This one's gonna be a little harder to do. Let's see if I can figure this out here. That's it. Stand my butt up. Yeah, it's pretty. It's gorgeous. This is the last beam to be cut to go into the house. Here we go. That's it. Now it's late. <clears throat> as much as I would love to throw some lights up and hang these beams, that would be foolish. If the weather's good tomorrow night, I'm gonna drag her out here. We're gonna put them all up. And if not, we'll do it this weekend. But it looks like this weekend, we're gonna start working on the roof panels. At the very least, we're gonna pull the first couple of roof panels that go up there over here and make the modifications on them that we need to. There's one modification at the very top that's gonna to need to be made. I'm sure that'll take me a lot of stress in and a couple hours to get done, but I'll get that done and we'll start putting the splines in them to get them ready to put in. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on back and check us out again at Break Hard Orchard. And don't forget to share it with somebody who might also like it. We'll see you next time. Welcome back to Break Hard Orchard. It is late in the evening. We both worked our regular jobs today. It's Friday, weekend's coming on. We've got three of these beams that we're gonna try to start putting into the ceiling for the master bedroom. Now Japan has already been up on the ladder and put sip seal in there. So I'm just gonna come in and get started here. I think, I think that we've got one hour to work. I don't know how much we can get done, but anything we, what's that? It's in the truck door. I think that we can really make some progress here. It's supposed to start raining tonight at about one o'clock in the morning. Now, it's gonna rain until about noon tomorrow. That's gonna eat up a little bit of time, but there are things that we can do for the build and for the farm that can be done, even if it's raining, there's stuff that we can do. What I don't want to do is come up here if it rains and the ground is saturated and start running the excavator back and forth here over the drain field right here or right next to the house and tear everything up. Since it's dry, I thought it was a good idea if we shot up here after work and we're here a little later than we usually get um, and just see what we can do, see if we can at least get one beam in. If we can get one in, hey, that's one. So we're going to go for it.
one's done, it was a little hairy because we couldn't hear each other and we couldn't see each other. one more to go in here tonight and we're going for it we got uh it's officially sunset in two minutes but sunset's on the other side of the mountain so it gets dark here quick and it's very overcast tonight but we're going for it done putting the timber frame in for this house that's the last of it that sounds great. starting this weekend we will begin putting the roof together to get on I don't know if we'll get any panels on this weekend but we're gonna start putting the splines in the panels that go on top of this room and the other room and as soon as we get to where we can start putting them on them we're putting them on Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on back and check us out again at Break Hard Orchard. We'll be here.
come on back and hit that subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Hit it there. Subscribe. 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 Yeah. Uh, here. We'll, 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 here. Holy crap. I don't speak the language.